In today's video, I'm going to remove these pucks. So something I've done is remove the, the gas cap to allow any uh, expanding gases to escape. Additionally, I'm going to turn on the fan to blow any excess uh, fumes out of the garage. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to start out with low heat and um, ease my way up. I just want to loosen up the adhesive and uh, inspect what's underneath, the damage that's underneath this, because I know there is. I don't know how big that dent is. It might be huge, it might be small. All right, let's get started. size dent um, yeah that's bigger than I imagined so that kind of sucks I mean um, fixing that is gonna be a little bit more involved my my plan was if, if it was just a small dent, I was gonna get some aluminum putty and uh, build this back out. That may still be possible, but that's that's a pretty good sized lump of putty. And um, I may end up having to uh, fix what I can and leave the majority of that dent there and um, buy another set of pucks uh, this one's obviously damaged, the styrofoam's damaged, and the adhesive is gone because it's half there. The other one's probably going to fight me a little bit coming off over there on that side too. So, um, might as well get started, right? I mean, I have to, I have to get this frame painted. So, all this has got to come off. It means lots of heat gun. That's, that is like on there, man. Um, I'm not sure how that was, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a factory adhesive or epoxy. I don't know. That's going to require some sanding. Um, part of the puck came off or was left on there. So that, that's unfortunate, but I mean, I don't know what else to do about it. All right, let me get started on the other side.
as expected, this side looks a lot better. Uh, the adhesive is toast and I kind of expected that. Um, this, this puck is in pretty good shape. Uh, it's got a little, a few blemishes on it. Let me get my camera to focus. It's got a few blemishes on it on, around the edges. Um, but definitely serviceable. Obviously the uh, styrofoam gave up the ghost, but um, I reckon I could probably sell that. That one maybe too. I'll just sell them in, in a fair condition. So if you're interested in these pucks, let me know and I'll post the eBay link down below. Um, they're gonna they're gonna be as is no warranty, obviously. This one's been through uh, a little bit of an accident, as you can see. So you can see some of the rash right there. Um, that you may not want that one. I'm gonna sell them individually. I'm not, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna sell them both as a pair <laughs> and somebody else can make a call on whether or not they wanna keep the other one. But yeah, uh, the, obviously that schmutz right there is somebody's attempt at uh, reconnecting that. That looks like some kind of epoxy. That does not look like, so obviously there's some RTV in there, but that is thoroughly bonded to the aluminum. So that's, that's some kind of epoxy. That was dumb, whoever did that. Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe I'm the dumb one. Uh, maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. I'm gonna keep going at this, I'll film it, and uh, we'll get everything we can off of there and uh, come back. better but that stuff there is pretty solid um, there's some different bits and pieces that are trying to come up but most of it is basically on there so I'm gonna have to get some pretty stout sandpaper and uh, work that off the hard way um, the putty knife just can't do as much as I'd like it to I've got some goo gone for this other side, so I should be able to get all this old adhesive off and um, potentially clean this up and uh, just get this side of light. Sorry, I'm not holding the camera very well. Get this side of light scuffing and it'll be prepped for paint. I, I was hoping there'd be like a little ding on that other side, just like maybe right there, you know, just a little schmutz and my hopes are dashed. I'm, um, I know I've seen uh, folks that have had similar gashes in their tanks and use the same aluminum putty. I'll put a link down below as to what I'm talking about. Um, it's like Bondo with aluminum in it. Uh, so it potentially will expand and contract with the tank and avoid major cracking that's that's going to be fairly thick um, the other thing to do is um, get one of those epoxy style dent pullers 
I just don't think that's gonna pull. It, it could, but that's that's pretty pretty deep, and that's thick or thicker aluminum. So it's not like I'd be pulling out a dent in the side of a fender. That's other folks will cut cut this out and um, put a new piece in there. But then you're looking at recoating the tank. The tank does have a coating inside of it. So then you got to figure out how to get the old coating out. Um, uh, lots of things to think about here. So on that note, we'll go ahead and end this video. And uh, until next time, peace out and keep it between the ditches.